Okay, this is a screencast that is going to depict the moon's libration. This is a film that was produced by NASA. It was taken by using a specific space probe called the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The space probe gives us a geocentric view of the moon over the course of a year. Now, what I mean by geocentric, I mean by what the moon looks like as seen from the surface of the Earth. We're going to see basically 12 lunar months occur here with this video as the moon then orbits the Earth over the course of 2019. So you're going to see a number of different effects here. First of all, of course, you're going to see the moon go through its set of phases, starting with new moon, for example, progressing through full, and then back to new once again. You're also going to see the moon change its apparent size as it orbits the Earth. And the reason for that is because the moon's orbit about the Earth is not a perfect circle. It's instead an ellipse. So then, therefore, when it's close to the Earth, what is called perigee, this is then when it's going to be large. When it's farther away from the Earth, this is called apogee. This is when the moon is going to appear a little bit smaller. You're also going to see the moon apparently wobble a little bit. And this is referred to as the moon's libration. The wobbling is caused by the following. First of all, once again, the orbit of the moon is elliptical, not circular. So when it's close to perigee, it's moving a little bit faster in its orbit than when it's close to apogee, when it's moving a little bit more slowly in its orbit. In addition to that, the moon's orbit about the Earth is tilted at about five degrees with respect to the Earth's orbit about the sun. The combination of these different orbital effects causes the moon to appear to wobble as time goes by. Hey, let me go ahead and set this into motion. like so. And then as the film here progresses very thoughtfully, NASA has also indicated here the various geographical features with craters, valleys, mountains, and so on here on the face of the moon as time goes by. Now, because the moon's orbit is elliptical, once again, this causes the wobbling that we see and the fact that the moon's orbit is tilted by about five degrees with respect to the ecliptic, we can then sometimes poke around a little bit to the side of the moon and see a little bit more than 50% of its face. Once again, the moon very nearly always presents the same side towards the Earth. However, not quite. We can see around the corner a little bit, for example, like so, as the moon undergoes this libration. Okay. All right, I'm posting for you the link associated with this NASA film with this particular screencast.